saying? Okay, so I have not been able to vlog in a couple days because I have been that busy. However, I have been, oh, I'm a little white. Okay, so I have been working pretty freaking hard here in Long Beach. Well, adjacent to Long Beach. Um, so I got to my Airbnb the other night and uh, I've been spending, the lighting sucks. Okay, so I got to my Airbnb the other night and uh, I've been spending time there and it's a really nice place. It's uh, a condo with uh, a couple people living there, but uh, I have a room to myself and I can use the kitchens and it's in a gated, and it's in a gated area, which is really, really cool. So I'm on my way right now to head to Malibu to do a shoot with uh, a girl named Sienna. And I, I just wanted to tell you guys a quick story that happened to me uh, two days ago that I was just completely, <laughs> I was stupid, it was stupid of me. I couldn't believe that I made such a dumb mistake. So I was uh, parking at my Airbnb, it was late, I, I was tired, I was carrying all my bags in, um, and I didn't notice that right next to where I, I had parallel parked, there was a red line, <laughs> poorly, poorly painted onto one of the curbs. And usually, you know, a red line like that would signify uh, a fire line, you know? And so I didn't see it. I parked next to it. I woke up the next morning, got, tried to get into the car to, or I, I went out to try to go to my chute and my car was gone. I had no idea what to do. So I talked to the person that lived at the Airbnb that I'm at and she, uh, she told me the name of the tow company that uh, polices the street, and I, I called them, I got my car back, but it cost me $450 to get my car back, and it had been there for literally two hours. I cannot believe how much that cost. I cannot believe how much towing costs. Stupid mistake, my fault. I was nice to the guy. I was like, okay, I was stupid. I parked by a fire line, my bad. Like, long story short, be careful where you park at night. <laughs> Otherwise your car is gonna be freaking gone. So I'm okay, I'm fine. It barely dented the profit that I'm gonna be making this trip, but this, this, it, it was just a stupid mistake that cost me dearly and I was like, ugh. Next time, next time I know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Always look clearly. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Idiot. That's that's what I am. Anyways, I'm going to get going to Malibu. One of the downsides of me driving a lot uh, for these trips is basically my car takes a beating. My car definitely takes a beating. A lot of road dust, a lot of bugs, a lot of bumps, a lot of potholes, and uh, unfortunately one of the downsides of being in New York City is that other people aren't very careful with their vehicles, so other people bump me or like, bad things happen to a vehicle that's been on the road as much as mine. So I've been thinking lately, you know, I, I want a hobby, I'm trying to find something that I enjoy to do that is not dance related because otherwise I spend all my time doing the same thing over and over and over again. I want to learn how to take care of my car. I want to learn some things about it. I want to learn how to, you know, do the routine checks, the, the maintenance stuff, the how to, how to change my own oil, which I, I already kind of know how to do. I've done it before with my dad, but like, it's just not as, it's not as easy to do by yourself. I wanna learn how to do that stuff. Um, so I think when I get home, I'm gonna buy myself a little tool kit. Um, I have to change my front brakes, I know that. Um, I'm gonna try to change my oil on my own, uh, if I can. Um, hard part with a Prius is that it's a little bit too far to the ground, so uh, I can't fit. Can't fit underneath. And I think for an oil change, you kind of have to be underneath a little bit, a little bit. So we'll see, we'll see what I can do. 
Um, I obviously want to be safe about it. Got to look up some tutorials and uh, maybe get some advice from some people that actually know how to do it. Maybe talk to my dad a bit. But I want to learn how to take care of my car. Her name's Guadalupe, by the way, uh, coined by my little sister Shannon. Uh, she uh, saw my car and immediately thought, ooh, Guadalupe San Pedro. That's the name. Like, why? <laughs> she says, I don't know. It just screams Guadalupe. It just does. <laughs> <laughs> about vlogging lately is it's extremely hard to get good video when you're walking with a lot of freaking equipment. And now I'm walking in the street. So I just arrived at my location for tonight and oh my gosh, is it beautiful. You can't really see it right now because it is really, really bright out. But we're gonna be shooting here tonight after, uh, after we get some shots in the city. Uh, but we're gonna go looking for the other locations right now. And I'm gonna introduce you to my dancer. Sienna now. Hi. Yeah, she's an amazing dancer. She's from California. And we're doing some pictures out on this beach. It is wonderful out here. I mean, the caves are amazing. The water is so blue. I cannot wait to show you guys the images. What's your Instagram? Say it. At Sienna dot underscore dot Lynn. I'll take her down below. <laughs> we're gonna have some fun. So we were just relaxing after the shoot and reminiscing over all the amazing photos that we got today. How many amazing photos did we get? Like 60? 60 million thousand? 60 million thousand is the correct number. Around there. Yeah, around that. And they get to do boxed water. Ooh. It's better over. It's better. It's better boxed for water. the turtles better. too. Yes. Gotta, gotta save the turtles, right? Yeah. Plastic free living. Oh, there is a plastic. There's still There's plastic. A plastic. <laughs> Yeah, so we had an amazing time, uh, and I am really excited to see all of the photos, but it means editing time when I get home. So fun. it's gonna be a lot of fun. And I get to drive all the way back to the place with the thing, Anaheim-ish. Anaheim, California tonight. It takes about an hour. Uh, it takes about an hour, it's, an, it's mm, from here? Yeah, 45 minutes without traffic, so. We'll see. 15 minutes. An hour. We're gonna yeah. go with an hour. It's an hour drive, and I have to be up freaking early tomorrow, so. 7 a.m. It's gonna be great. 
All right, so uh, drop a comment below. Uh, tell me what your favorite photo was. And uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna link her Instagram below and my Instagram below. Uh, give me a follow if you get the chance. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great night.